Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Morning, Kirsty! <laughs> well, you're flaming! I am! <laughs> you rock! It's looking amazing! I have to say that since you arrived, the courtyard's never looked so good. Aww. Like we've lived with weeds for 16 years and now you're keeping it beautiful. Hey. <laughs> See you later. Bye. We've planted the bulbs. The ones from Davy. Yep. <gasps> That's so exciting, they're the ones for the courtyard. So what have we got? Um, so there's loads of different types of lilies, I think different heights as well. Yeah. And then we've got alliums, but a lot. So, so loads it's going to be of different full of plants. this year rather than okay, little that's lollipop sticks. Fantastic. Yeah, because they were like aliens last year and I love them. I think they're one of my favourite yeah. plants. And so Davey sent a plan of like, they because they came with specific instructions of depths and like grouping. So we've yeah. just done, done that. Fantastic. Davies ordered Allium Globemaster. This is the biggest Allium with <laughs> flower heads that are nearly 10 inches across. And then in amongst it, we'll have Allium Red Giant. They have reddish globes on much shorter stems so that we start to get height differentiation. We also have Allium Christophe, which is the star of Persia. And it's got these small star-shaped purple flowers. And finally, Allium Ostara, which are only a foot high. They're red and purple, and apparently they're full of neck that attracts butterflies. And on top of that, we've ordered lots more lilies, so it should be a glorious courtyard next spring. So what you did today, we are going to reap the benefit of in the spring. Hope so. If not, Kirsty planted them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Natty. It's suddenly beautiful. Yeah. This is a lovely moment. I think a lot of people are going to like seeing this. Yeah. You're That's collecting things. Yes, we have a laundry service. Yes, I wash perfect. and iron. <laughs> it is fabulous. And they've agreed to use our sheets because we have really lovely bedding. Yeah. And so we had to find a laundry service that would let us use the Yves de l'Orme and all that nice things. I mean, this is a Pierre Frey bed cover with the matching pillowcase. This is all Yves de l'Orme. Oh, they're lovely. This feels so good. Yes. Oh. And, but it doesn't feel good. It's a sweater, a winter sweater. Yeah, I think you've dressed a little warmly for today. Yeah, I was cold this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I'm out here, I'm going to check on Ian because I can smell something pretty delicious emanating from you. Is it me? <laughs> I think it seems to be you. It's quite strong. <laughs> well, I hope it's not me. That's the one I'm allergic to wasps and bees. Ah. Beeswax. Beeswax in the beams. That, that's lovely. First coat, so it looks a bit dark right now, but I think that's going to come out really nice. Yeah, but also it won't stay that dark because no, it no. always goes on darker. Oh, it does. You can see the little patches that are drying. Yes. But it is giving it a little bit of a red hue. Ah, yeah, a little tiny bit. Yeah, so I wonder whether that could actually be a piece of chestnut as opposed to a piece of oak. I wonder if Amory would know. We should ask him. We should. I think yes. he's off to the Duchetterie now, but I we can ask him is. later. Yes, he'd have more knowledge than I. This is lovely. Yeah, I love it. I wish everyone could smell the beeswax. It smells so <laughs> it, it, good is here. Wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> right. Right. Okay. I'm going to go and give those peacocks some um, uh, scrambled eggs. Oh, again. Oh. This is looking more and more like a workshop, Amory. Ooh. Yeah, we're not that far off really from doing It's just we put this one together just to get a rough idea that the planks I've made for the infills are going to work, which they are going to work, but I just want to know how much to groove in here for this the tanks to go into. It's and really the, beautifully done. Oh, cheers. You've got the, um, got the profile matching the existing as well. So that's, that's always a plus. That's and a huge plus, yeah. yeah. 
for it to look as though it's always been here. Yeah, hence why usually I would just do stub mortises, but these are through mortises, so you know the joints come all the way through. But they're amazing, Amri. Once they're, they get uh, clamped it's fantastic. up, fantastic. Once they get clamped up, then yeah. they will be nice and tight. And okay. Then and then the hinges. I've found some lovely little hinges that sort of look the same. Ooh. Sort of look the same. Okay, but, but pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Uh, yeah. So. So if you hold that behind, we'll get an idea of what that's going to look well, like. Well, sort of, because I've got to do a profile on here. So I'm going to groove around the frame, mm -hmm. take it all apart. This okay. is just right. Take it all apart. Once I've done the groove in there, I do the tenon in here. So then that will slot into that. So then I put the frame around here. But then what we're also going to do is do a um, do a profile. Oh, wow. So it won't be a just a completely flat no, plane. No, 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 it won't be as flat. You'll have a shoulder and then an angle oh, coming down. Oh, how beautiful. When they're closed, you see this from the outside, but on the inside, you'll see, you see a profile again. in the inside. Oh, so is this double-sided as well? No, it's not double-sided because that's not how the originals were. Okay, so you just copied exactly I've how copied they were exactly done. exactly how they are, but I do want to put a, a stop chamfer, a, a stop yeah. profile down here as well, just to make it look a little bit nicer. I love it. So they it. look like for like. Fantastic. Yeah. It's lovely working in here, having somewhere inside. Finally, like yeah, you've got your own spot. Well, it's not so much that, it's more because the weather at the minute has been really weird. Yeah. So one minute, it'll be sun's out, tops off, but, and then all of a sudden it starts raining. So it's like, <laughs> put everything away so it doesn't get damaged. Yeah, that yeah, is perfect. It's really perfect. Yeah, working with wood in the rain, it's not ideal. It's not correct. <laughs> it's not correct. It's not correct. Okay, I'll leave you carrying on. All right, then. see you later, have a lovely day. And whilst we're here, I can finally show you the original shutters that Amory is basing his design on because we had guests in here up until now. Here we go. This is what he has copied, this system. And you can see that it's carved on the front with the profile that he's going to be putting into the centre panel. And on the back, it's completely straight. But he's decided that he would like to put a profile here as well just to make it a little bit more interesting when it's closed well i think that when we put the new ones in we can give these a new coat of paint at the same time i love the top of this window actually it's going to be really hard to get this one double glazed because i definitely want to keep exactly the same shape there well now i'm really confused is selma reading a bedtime story to the dog because tatiana's inside are you recording? Yeah. You're reading a story. Well, that was for the my patrons. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I just. Finished. I was so confused. I thought you were reading just, a story to Diesel. I just finished. It was a day, uh, a, a poll about the, what they could choose, what to me to do. Yes. And they choose to read an. Uh, a fairy that's fairy tale <laughs> well actually honestly i think that's superb because your voice is the most restful yeah, voice on but, the planet uh i did it with big letters and in english but my english is not that good but yeah yeah i thought i'd give it a try absolutely and i think i did quite well actually oh i look forward to listening to it later <laughs> okay yeah. well i'll see you i'll see you. i'm going to go and get philip okay okay oh, see you in a sec okay. yeah. yeah bye Right. A super lovely thing just happened. I received these beautiful, beautiful flowers. And it turns out they're from everyone at Chateau DIY. They've been sending them to all of the Chateau owners who were in the series. Our bits will be on in about two weeks time. So I'm getting excited. And finally, we can show how we transformed the entrance hall and the little staircase. The way you're looking makes me think that putting the heating on today didn't go as well as we hoped. It did. Okay. It did. All the new caps have worked, so the pressure was holding. That's great. Yeah. Um, so two thumbs up. Great. The only trouble is, though, we've now lost another radiator. I don't believe it. Yeah. In Perse. What? But this this one you can sort of well you can see the where the water was coming from from the front panel, but you can't actually see a crack, which is just mental. It's uh, Marie Popin, the cleaning lady that noticed it so we were lucky we were so lucky so hang on water was coming literally out of the front of yeah, a radiator of the i think you can probably if you go have a look at now you can so see let, let's look at this radiator and you can show me what was what was happening oh you've got a leak there as well <gasps> i would never have moved that sofa out of the way to, i didn't hear anything so where's this one? Oh, it's only a little oh, one look, look. can you see it so it's been happening for a while because you've got the discoloration there and it's from look. the front it's from the front again yeah. they've actually gone on the front panel what is going on amory that's it's bizarre. There. It's there. That is so bizarre. So it's exact. That's exactly yeah, look, how it still is. Still drips. Yeah, still drips. I don't believe. Well, 
That's uh, radiator number nine then? No, no. No? One, two. It's now number 12. 12 in a week of trying to put the heating on? This yeah. is insane. I don't know what to say. We need new radiators, I think, is the only thing to say. Yeah. Winter is coming. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Remembers. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad um, we're seeing the Game of Thrones side of this. <laughs> oh, loved it. Miss it. Imagine an intro like the Game of Thrones one with, with Lalande, like, over the centuries. <laughs> oh, God. Dan? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is what um, we need. Men so, in yeah. fur. We need... Um, I don't know, we need to make a decision on what we want to do, though. I think we, we get the get nicest them. radiators we can get. Honestly, I think we get the best quality we can get. Okay. Well, that's something we need to then think about doing okay. sooner rather than later. You look utterly traumatised, Cass. Life it's is like, peaceful in England. It's like the sixth or seventh time, time I've drained the system down, and oh. it's just getting a bit tedious. <laughs> but, you know, we've got to protect this place, so we've got to make sure to keep our eyes open for any others. And also, we have to make sure that the radiators are working before you go through and do beautiful panelling, because imagine if you'd got done the panelling and then all the radiators above had gone. Yeah. yeah. Catastrophic. But it was, you know, Philip who suggested in the first place when yeah. this first issue did crop up that where we're going to be doing the work, the rooms above, yeah. they're the priority to change over. Yeah. This is the first use of our cabbages from the yes. garden. Yes, I took three. They are perfect. Quite a bit with them, but yeah. And there's uh, quite a few more. Yeah, there's um, loads. It's such yeah. a healthy cabbage patch. We've never had yeah. such a healthy cabbage patch ever mm. here. What are you making with them? Um, I'm going to do like a German style uh, cabbage. So I'm going to slow cook it for about three hours. Mm. With some vinegar and spices and maybe some bacon. It sounds delicious. <laughs> Oh, chicken with it. I'm definitely team bacon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely adding that then. Yeah. But they look great. They look amazing. Honestly, that's like a sort of perfect, yeah. perfect red cabbage. Yeah. Dan and Kirsty done good. Definitely. We're going to film Cat at the Chateau now, but it's a very different setup to usual because we've got Tim who works on lighting in Hollywood and he's staying as a guest here and he worked on Star Wars I mean it's really exciting chatting about it and I think it's really sweet of him but he's basically showing us how to do better lighting this is the reflections from these two and ah yes I had a position to the chair so that you can see the light exactly the... exactly whoever's here you can oh. use them to... <laughs> Tim this has got to be a real come down for you after Hollywood <laughs> <laughs> setting up for Cadet at the Chateau. I didn't imagine myself traveling this far and doing a lighting setup and yeah, I'm doing one, but you know, the needs are Amazing. This is fun. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Heidi, these are three of them of the five, five lights. These are your lights. They are indeed. Because you are you are on TV in Nice. I am absolutely. <laughs> we're, honestly, we have the most fascinating guests all the time. Don't we? It's amazing. And what were you doing? I was uh, celebrating my 18 years being on HSN. Oh, wow. Home Shopping Network. Yes. yes. And selling your jewellery. Yes. Which, again, today, another classic. Every time we see you, Nathalie and I are like, ah, where's that jewellery? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank you for lending us the lights. Okay. Oh, certainly. Certainly. <laughs> Shoot away, girls and boys. Well, I don't know about you two, but I feel really important with all these lights. Yes. I get a little bit nervous now. I know. <laughs> it started to be out of this. This is a real <laughs> performance. My goodness. They're everywhere. Right. Uh, let me see that. <laughs> Well, that was great fun. And those of you who watch Cato at the Chateau will see that this week's had been magnificently lit. I'm sure we've never looked quite so glamorous. Amory and I have had a very serious chat. It's all f <laughs> That's the technical term of our heating. Uh, so we have decided that in the complete absence of a heating engineer, I've called and called. Yeah. No one's got back to me. We have to order these radiators. We can't wait any longer. Yeah. We were trying to work out what's the current thermal output of that radiator so we can replace it like with like. We don't know. And so I've decided that we're going to do this as a family. We're going to take after the Pethrex on this. Mm. We're doing it ourselves. Yeah. We're going to calculate the thermal necessity of each room of each room that's got radiator broken and we're going to put in the correct wattage output of radiators even if our boiler 
can't, can't cope, cope with it yet. It means if we add another boiler in the future, we're future proofed. Yeah. Because I suspect that we don't have the correct wattage. No. The radiators we have at the moment would not be enough, even if we had a powerful boiler. That's what I'm realizing. Just with just simple, from, yeah, just simple simply calculation. looking at it. Yeah. I think one of the rooms, it said that we needed about 5,000 watts. And from what I saw, we had maybe one and a half thousand watts. Combined. Right? Combined with yeah. several radiators. With, yeah. So we're going to go around and we are going to calculate each of the rooms ourselves. And put on a spreadsheet. Got a spreadsheet. We're going to do this and it's going to be brilliant. And we're just doing it ourselves and that's fine. It's more fun. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. Okay, it's more fun. It's more fun. I like that. I like the way you're thinking. But keeping it in the family, mm -hmm. doing heating engineers are us. Yeah? Exactly. How hard can it be? The Jarvis Richmond Heating Corporation. Yeah. It's got a ring to it. Yeah. Need to copyright <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go measure. The first room is what I call the sheep room. You call it the sheep room? Yeah. What is its actual name? I don't know. You can see the sheep outside. It's the two singles. Pause. Oh, let's go. Okay, have you got the height for this room? Yep, 3.4. Okay, then I need the width. By six meters. Okay, length. By 4.6. You can understand why I call it the sheep room. Because look, you can see sheep. We've measured this room and we're finding the area of it. And I'm guessing that this radiator, which is the only one, isn't going to be enough. See, we need 4,819 watts for this room. Okay. And we've got quite a lot of windows here as well. Anyway, 4,819 is what we're working on. We've well, got one radiator. Yeah, but because we've got the actual feed down the line, you could run the pipe work to this wall here. Yes, and have another one. And have another one. I know this is a triple layer one. Yeah. But from what I've looked at, there is no way that this size, even with triple, is pumping out over 4,800 no. watts. There's simply no way. We haven't got much space there, but I think we could still put a low one under the window. So we've got three point, well, 340 mil. So the smallest comes at 300, doesn't it? 300, yes. Yeah. So we can have 40 mil off the ground, run the pipe work. Yes. Creating a box skirting, so take this off because, well, yeah, we'll take this off, run the pipework in, and then put a nicer skirting on All right. to make it neater, and then we can have the tails coming up. I'm just distracted. We're doing a great job of this calculation, but look at the light. I'm really laughing, but seriously, I'm really, look at the light. Yeah. How could I not film that? It's so beautiful. I think it's a good sign for our thermal calculations. Keep going, it's saying. You're getting there. There's a brighter future ahead. Let's do these new ones here. Neat. Let's finish this wall of radiators here and replace that one. Yeah, with something a lot prettier. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Where to next? Pest. So this is where the latest leak came from. I can smell it. I can smell the uh, antifreeze. Yeah. It's just here. And there's, there's the water going. This room's really high. Yeah. We've just done pairs, so that's it. We've calculated for two rooms. Now we're calculating for the third. We need so many more radiators, it's ridiculous. And we're working out if we can do another window seat area in here by coming through with the pipes from next door. And then one there. This room's going to be completely panelled, so we can run behind the panelling if we make it a little deeper at one point. Yeah, brilliant. And chisel a little out behind the panelling, perhaps. Yeah. If we can get three in there, like we're going to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, work. great. We're doing really well. I mean, I think that the bathroom we just did, Pass's bathroom, is the only room where we can buy a radiator that's part water and has a heating element, which means that even on our low power, the minute we put that in, that room is going to be warm enough. So that is a massive result. And yeah, we've done five rooms so far. Yep. We're yep. on fire. And we're now where? Oh, it all, we're now where it all began. This, was, <laughs> this is where it all started. This is it. This is it. This is it. The birth of the new heating system. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Did you cook tonight, Josie? I cooked tonight, Stephanie. Well, thank you very much. Oh, very well. 
It's delicious. I yeah, it's I can't it's wait. So oh, what is it? Have a family yes. home food. Family home food. Is that its uh, official title? Yes. Family home food. Yes. Okay, I look forward to it. I put vegan so cheese. Oh wow! Yeah. I didn't even know that existed. Me neither. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. We've got time. incredible red cabbage from the cabbage from um, the garden, and then a cottage pie. You're looking very glamorous, Natty. Thank you. Very sparkly. Yeah, I love this. It looks like leaves. It looks yeah. like uh, autumn leaves. Yeah, it does. It's really pretty. It's really nice. And Mary, it's really, really great to have you back. Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Josie, I would like to propose a toast to you. I'm so glad you're finally here because we've been talking about you coming as a volunteer for well over a year. Yeah. Really long quite, time. Quite a long time. I'm super, super happy oh, that you're here you. with us. Oh, God bless for that. Well, cheers to Josie. Cheers. Cheers. Josie. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good morning. Today is accounting day. Apparently today two accountants are coming and we are going to finally blitz the accounts. But this is the organisation that I've got going here in the meantime. There's really a long way to go. I feel that wearing something tremendously grown up will help me with this. Maybe a little jacket? I actually scrap that. I just need something warm. It's getting really chilly now. I mean, admittedly, I'm in a t-shirt, but we've got to get this heating sorted out. Massive, snuggly cashmere dress that will be very soothing to the soul, both about the heating situation and the accounting. The accounting's actually going really well, and I've just noticed a big lorry arriving, and it must be the tiles for the shower room upstairs. There's Ian leading the way. Excellent. We can go and see how that's getting on later. The accountants have gone, they'll be back week after next, and then that will be it. That's the last meeting of Friday. So we're nearly there, and in the kitchen, we're planning Natty's new kitchen. This brilliant bit of planning. This is us planning Natty's kitchen. How is it going, Natty? Thank you very much. <laughs> I just warm on my food. <laughs> I cannot <No>. leave it. <laughs> You're never going to be using this kitchen, are you, anyway? <laughs> so, what do we. Oh, this is now the oven, is it? So, the oven's now here. We're expecting the oven's a now there. Every week. <laughs> you <got> 600, <laughs> yeah. So, if we put a 600 base here, then under the oven. Yeah, so we've got a four. Yes. The four is there, the oven's there. We can move the dishwasher well, under the oven? No, we can make this pandros. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got the dishwasher there under the under hob. Under the hob, yeah. And, then that's and the, the sink, sink next base. to it. And that's then, quite nice, I think. And then inside there's your little gas bottle to feed the hob. It does work. It just means you have absolutely no work surface, which means you have I to have a table opposite. To oh, what a pity. You have a dining table. <laughs> you're, you're trying, to, you're trying to get empanadas, aren't yes. you? <laughs> Let's go and have a look. If we have a little table there, the same width as the workbench, yeah. Yeah. it gives easily enough space to walk through. So. You can use it as a work surface. Yeah, I and <laughs> you can get through there quite happily. There we go, look, even with a poncho. <laughs> <laughs> the poncho that test, that's the test for everything <laughs> in the chateau. The gaucho look. Yeah. Well look, Natty, it's really coming up. You have um, all sorts of wires, so that's great. And you have pink insulation. I love the pink insulation. Yeah. I will not see it, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I will know that it's there. The beams are looking lovely. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're looking really lovely. We sealed them now. So that when we plaster, we can actually wipe off any of the excess and then we'll give them another coat and then buff them Then off. you'll buff so them after that. Nice. Good. I really like it. I love the fact it keeps the character because yes. all of them are going to be yeah. visible, which is lovely. That's beautiful, yeah. Like the hooks yeah. and stuff and all the eyes. Yeah, we're going to keep all that. And then these are the tiles that we'll have on the kitchen floor. That's the leftovers from the grand salon. I think they'll go well and they'll blend. Yeah. If you look here, colour wise through to there, it's not. Well, they come up off. a little bit pinker, pinker. It because it's it's when they're linseed oiled, yeah, yeah, yeah they come up yeah. pinker. But I think it'll be quite pretty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I like your imagination. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> yes. It's going to be beautiful. You can imagine the entire bed. The better yeah. and the wardrobe and everything. I think when the ready. plasterboard goes on, it's going to make mm. such a huge Oof. difference suddenly. Oh, it's going to look yeah. amazing. Which, again, we can start this week. Lovely job on the ceiling, Peter. Yeah, yeah it's looking yeah. great. Yeah. Wow, it's looking really good. They're beautiful. The that is so seriously beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. But it's a little bit old. I know they're a bit old, but they are honestly from the garden, those the flame dahlias. Yeah. 
Look at them. Josie picked them up they for the guests. They are beautiful. Yeah. I haven't seen those ones. They were in the winter salon. Yeah, and I brought them here. Yes, lovely. Look at the actual combination. They're gorgeous. This, this, this yeah. Purple. yeah, yeah. Oh, what is it? Josie's got such this a good one. eye. Yeah. yeah, she's very good in the... Mm. Yeah, you, you saw the ones that she made for the dining room and the entrance hall. They were there, small, but yeah. so beautiful and full of flowers. And how are you getting on, Mary? Is it good to be back? Yeah, wonderful. It's been a really marvellous day in the laundry room. <laughs> Missed you. You're happy to be there because it's super warm. <laughs> yes, especially. It's getting cold here. Yeah, it's getting really cold with no eating. So you've been living in Berlin? Yes, um, for two years because of the pandemic. Yes. But uh, I guess I'm making it my home now. How's it compared to Hong Kong? It's very grey and cold. <laughs> so I guess I think that's it. And the food is not really that... Marvellous. Yeah. Have to move to France. So yeah, exactly why I'm back here. So well, certainly we've been having really good food recently. Wow, it's been amazing. Not sure the grey and cold is much better here though, Mary. <laughs> mm, yeah, we figure it out. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm going to go to Philip's room and see how he's getting on with Andy. Who is it? Me. Oh, are you filming? Yeah. yeah no, 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 no. What? I mean, I'm working oh. on a secret project. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Uh oh. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Just coming to hang out with you and Aldi. You're working on the Christmas things. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see? Yeah, of course I want to see. Yeah, yeah. I'll well, turn that off then. You're going to let me in. Okay, I'm going to go, but I'm going to see all of the designs that Andy's been making for this year's Christmas theme, mm -hmm. and we'll be launching them quite soon. Did you decide when we'd be launching? Early November, I think, because that will give people enough time to actually incorporate them in. And that's okay with you, Andy, as well? Yes. Early November? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they're so secretive. Okay, early November, you'll be able to see what they're working on. Okay. Andy? Oh! You are very, very talented. Oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Oh, really, I love everything. <laughs> exciting and I cannot wait to show you the Christmas plans but let's wait till the beginning of November because it's a little bit early yet. Josie I have been looking forward to your parmigiano <laughs> how do you call it? Uh, aubergine parmigiano. Oh this is this really well made by an Italian grandmother normally but by an English grandmother this time. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be delicious. just as delicious. I hope so. Josie has made a salad of, is that apple or pear, Josie? Apple, apple, celery and pecan. Oh, with, with a roquefort dressing. Roquefort dressing. Wow. <laughs> and Ursula, it's your birthday. It is. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. And thank you very much for bringing us Bulgarian wines. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure. Thank you, because you live in Bulgaria. We do. We yes, live so, in Bulgaria. Yeah. We're going to be discovering Bulgarian yes, wines for the first are. time. I expect you all to visit at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'd love to. <laughs> and look who's back. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, so good there. that you're back, Andy. It's <laughs> great to be here. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Cheers and happy birthday. Cheers. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible and the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Lande. Yadeland, Ether, Alice, Alan, Dan, Banda, Wailing, Banshee, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia, Begum, Denise, Berens, Snell, Banakovic, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned, Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalakani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Matthew Chupp, Stephen Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Jimmy Conley, Zoe Dorf, Sylvia Dem, Jim Demersman and Richard Patton Nord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason Dubby, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delane Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Sandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalan, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Grant and Erin McLoon, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Norrie, Maureen Palmer, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatek, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreib, Elisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Annette Solverson, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stapora, Sabrina, Sorette, and The Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troy, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Reist, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordanazzo. Thank you.